New tonight, there's some uh, frustration between a bunch of hockey parents, teams, and the Junior Knights program. Sports Director Chris Matthews joining us with the latest. Chris? Well, thank you, Denise. Yeah, what's kind of causing the concern and feelings among a bunch of parents are the teams under the Knights umbrella, the Junior Knights program, and those independent teams, particularly the Ice Warriors, who make up nine teams of about 200 kids. Now, these kids play at the Fiesta Ice Rink. The Knights are taking over that facility, and according to parents and coaches, the Knights program is looking to kind of form sort of a monopoly pushing out the Knights, uh, the Ice Warriors, along with its coaches and teams, and forcing the kids to play under the Knights banner. Now, according to some parents, the Knights aren't in favor of independence, saying the Knights organization wants to disband the Ice Warriors and have those players skate under the Junior Knights program. Well, they held a big Zoom meeting tonight with a bunch of concerned hockey parents. It appears no decision or agreement will be made until the end of March. And maybe there, there's room to play that we get something done that doesn't need to go to a full vote. That would be my hope. Because there's, there's a lot of things that have been put out there. Um, we might be able to come up with a, a resolution before that. But at the very, yeah. at, at the very least, um, you know, it's uh, 30 days is what, yeah. what I put in there. All right, now we'll certainly follow this story. Bill Foley's goal of, of growing junior hockey appears to be working, but the question is, can there be various organizations working together? This was never an issue eight years ago. There appears to be some growing pains and maybe a few egos get in the way as well. Denise.